Well, we want part two or three or whatever it is of the video. It's Hartlepool Golf Club. This is John Hutton from John Hutton Golf Channel. Uh, I've gone through nine. I've shot 40. I had one bad hole of seven on the fourth. This is Hartlepool Golf Club. Uh, it's Lynx Golf and I think I'll be playing this more now. Now it's the summer. I think I'll be playing this course more often. But I'm going to have to avoid the days when I've got county competitions on because this is a little bit of a joke, to be honest. Right, it's 344 yards. The wind's going to be helping me. I'm just going to take a five hybrid down there, actually. I, I, I don't... You kind of drive this. <coughs> there's no... There's no... There's no um, what's the word? There's, there's no risk rewards here. You've just got to get it down. You fairway. 40 yards or so and then put it into the uh but no I'm gonna I'm gonna take a four. I'm gonna take a four. I'm gonna take a four. I think um I think a five. I wanna get as close as I can without losing me ball, so I'm gonna go for four. And try and just get it down there and hit it through the gorge. <coughs> and then it's a case of hoping it's somewhere near the green because it's blind it's blind going into that gorge uh, and this is the footy part of the course where you're going to start going into the, the the sand dunes and there's going to be a lot of undulation that's the main part of the links the bog standard links flat course gone we're now going into the dunes and all sorts of different undulations here we go four hybrid out so hopefully just get it down there Which I've, 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 yeah, I'm over the first bunker. I think I've avoided all the bunkers. I think I'm just in the first cut on the right side. But I think I've avoided the bunkers, which is good. I think that was a good solid strike. It went straight. It did what I wanted it to do. Just it, it wasn't quite straight enough to get on the fairway. But I avoided the left-hand side because there is there is a lot of rough there and i think there's a little bit of a stream on the left as well that you can't see from the tee so yeah i've done all right there i've done okay i've done what i've wanted to achieve again just about i think i've avoided the bunkers and i think i'm all right i think i'm going down into the gorge now uh into the blind into the blind shot and i'll be about what about 130 yards or so i reckon as long as I've avoided the bunkers, I've done well. For getting the bunker, I'm in a bit of bother, but I think if I've cleared the first bunker, I cleared the first bunker. Uh, yeah, I think I'm all right. I think I'm okay. I think I'm all right. I've pretty much avoided the first bunker. I know that it's, it's the second one. I'm, me concerns the second one. I might have been flirting a little bit with the second one. I'm, that's that's my main concern is not being in a bunker. Yeah, you see, you've got a little bit of a stream on the left there, and you've also got the rough. So I didn't really want to be that far. And of course, there's rough on the right as well. We'll say that the slope goes down to the right as well. So it might be a case of I'm in the rough. I hope I'm not, but I don't know. I don't know. I should have confidence in my own ability, but I've got a horrible feeling I'm flirting with that second bunker. Ah, no sign of the ball. Oh, there's a third bunker. I forgot about that third bunker. It could well be in the third bunker. I think I'm going to be in one of these bunkers either way. I think I'm in the sec second or third bunker. Let's have a look. Yeah, I'm in the third, but oh. Oh, I'm in the third bloody bunker. It's, it's so thin, the fairway up here, by the way, that you, you don't think it off the tee, but it is, it's very, very thin. I mean, I'm not going to have that far, it's 110, but I mean, look at the height of it. All with the natural slope of the land. It's all the natural slope of the land, this. And uh, I want to just see what my line is and I want to see if they're off the green. Ah, oh, lad. 
I mean, the sensible way to play it is to play it off the first bloody bus. That's right. The green's clear. I, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to get it to the green. I don't think I'm going to be able to get the height with, with enough club. Because looking at it, it's 115. I mean, yeah. What is it from here? What does the watch reckon? I mean, Hundred and eleven. I mean, I can try. I can try and be aggressive with the pitching wedge, but I've got to hit it so clean. I've got to get the height, and I've got to get it so quick. I just from you see, if I was back here, sort of, all, all right, I'd, I'd have a go. I've got a shot at it, but this is this is hard. Right. I'm going to brave it out and give it a go in front of the stance. I've got to hit this clean. I'm not confident with this. I am not confident at all with this. Oh, I've hit it. I've hit. That's a good shot. That's a good shot. I want to get down there as quick as I can. I might have overhit it. I've hit it that well. I might have overhit it actually, but that is such a good strike. That was such a marvellous strike. I, I want to get down there and see what's happened there. Hopefully a little bit of the distance has been taken off because it's in the sand. But my God, what a strike that was. I want to get over this gorge and see where that's at. If I've overhit it, I've learned something and... And I've got to be honest, I don't think I deserve that. I don't think I deserve to be off the green. But I have hit a magnificent shot there. No matter where that's at, right? That is a magnificent strike. No matter where it's at. What I've done there. <sighs> it's right, it's, it's, it's right in line with the flag, but it's behind. But from where I was, what a strike that was. If you don't get par here, son, you don't deserve anything. If you don't get par here, you don't deserve anything. It's still about 15 foot away, like. Still not an easy putt, but from where I was. Magnificent. Right. That's it, take 50 odd practice swings, you're gonna need them. All right. Here we go then, putting for uh, birdie. Another little tricky one, isn't it? It's another little tricky one.
little bit annoyed with myself there. That should have been it should have been a par, but it wasn't. It's ended up being a five or three putt. A little bit peed off at that. You know, it was about here, wasn't it? The put went left to right and Yeah, it went left to right on us. It went left to right on us. I, I aimed left edge. I knew it was going to go left to right. I aimed left edge, and um, unfortunately, I missed out, didn't I? I missed out. So it's a five. It's a three putt. Uh, yeah, I could have done with a par there. Could have done with a par there. That would have really got us rolling, but never mind. So that's a five. It's a shame, it's a shame. That's the difference between me and a single figure golf golfer, I think. I think that's the big difference, the, the amount of three puts I'm getting at the minute. Uh, it's just too many, it's just too many, you know. Yeah, I'm all, I'm all for kids playing golf and everything, county competitions and everything, but, but for God's sake, they just teach them how to bloody play quick. If my son or daughter, if I ever have one, wants to play golf, I would say to them, that's fine, but learn how to play quick. <sighs> but, well, not quick, but you know, like a reasonable pace. Because every single county golfer, every single junior county golfer, they take half an hour over every shot, and it, it, I, I don't know why. Golf's not meant to be played like that. And I'm sure it doesn't do your game any good. Every single thing having to be precise and precision, and doesn't mean you've got to take half an hour over your bloody shots. It really doesn't. Ah, I know. <laughs> Five hour round. <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't joking, mate. I wasn't joking. Believe it or not, I wasn't joking. You got a tent and a picnic. <laughs> Aye, funny bugger. Ah, he thinks he's a funny bugger, that bugger. Well, that wasn't actually quite, it wasn't a funny comment. Oh, I've got to go over that uh, bridge. Ah, it's not, as, not as deep as you think down there. Oh, 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 oh. God knows what it is off the competition tees. Uh, 196. Um, which way is the wind gun? Which way is the wind going? Oh, sorry. Uh, it's helping a little bit, but it's off to the left. Uh, again, this is a beautiful little par three. Look at the, they've got the uh, the old blockades from the, the war again. Just there, over there, the blockades from the war. And then over over here is the coastline. Look at that. It's, 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 it's a beautiful, natural course, this Hartlepool. Honestly, get down here, get your 25 quid paid and play this course. It's 25 quid all year round. 
get down here, pay your money and play it. Because it's, it's a magnificent course. Uh, with the wind slightly helping, I might go hybrid. <coughs> it's a magnificent course. It really is. I love it. It's just the problem is these county golfers use it all the time. There must be a reason why the county choose this and not Seaton Carew, by the way. There's got to be a reason for it. I haven't played Seaton Carew, but there must be a reason why they choose Hartlepool rather than Seaton Carew. There's got to be a reason for it. Is it a better course? Is it... I don't know. There's got to be, there's got to be a reason why they do it. The Seaton Carew is meant to be the most prestigious links course in the, in the North East. It's, 60, it's, it's 65 quid a round. So, there's got to be a reason why they choose Hartlepool instead. There's got to be a reason. I mean, do you really have to watch your kids play golf so intensely? They're like, looking like that, like... Do you have to do it so intensely? You don't have to put pressure on your kids like that. La da 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 I watched Dr. Doolittle yesterday, actually. I forgot to tell you. So I watched Dr. Doolittle with the one with, um, oh, what's his name in? Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, Robert Downey Jr. I watched, I watched Dr. Doolittle. It was all right, actually. At the start, when I saw him talking to the animals and stuff, I went, oh, bloody hell, here we go. <laughs> it's one of them. <laughs> Make believe cack. It was actually all right. I enjoyed it. Dr. Doolittle. <coughs> He gets this kid who's meant to be, he, shoot, he shoots this squirrel by accident and he ends up uh, befriending him and they go off on this adventure trying to find this forbidden fruit or whatever. It's alright, it's a uh, forbidden tree thing for which to save the to save Queen Victoria. It was alright, it was alright. To start off with I thought this is going to be make-believe cack but it was actually not too bad. You know what, this is just not going to be funny. This is going to be nine holes of hell if, if they don't hurry up. Oh, for God's sake, you're taking too long, man. You're taking half an hour over a putt, that's two foot. Just put the bloody thing in. That's it, son, now get onto the bloody 11th. Half an hour over a two foot putt. This is me with a two foot putt. Oh, it's in the hole. Him, him. For God's sake, just put it in the bloody hole. I've never known, I've never, it's so frustrating these golfers, you know, because they're not, they're just kids. They're not enjoying it. How can you enjoy playing golf when it's taking half an hour over a shot? Oh, just just calm down, John. You you're gonna you're gonna bugger yourself up again. You, you're playing so well. Just calm down. You're plus six. You're plus six through ten. Just calm down. All right. We don't want any disasters now. You're playing well. Here we go. And there has been a bloody disaster. Up. Oh. I've seen it. I know where it's at. I'll find it. It's not. Uh, it's not as bad as I think. It's. Uh, it's not a great shot at all. To be honest, it's not a great shot at all. It's. It's way off on the left side there. I'll have a pitch onto the green though. I mean, we're talking 190 odd yards, so I'm way offline. It wasn't a great shot, it was a decent enough strike, but it hit it way off to the left. The winds took it. The winds seriously took that. But, uh, no, we're going to be all right. We'll be fine. We're, we're all right. It's going to be a difficult shot into the green, though. I mean, they're watching the kids so intensely. The intensity, man, that they're watching them with. 
the bloody intensity is just unbelievable ah it's all right this bridge actually it's it's not one of those ones i'm you know there's plenty of space either side so if i was a bit dizzy i wouldn't go over the top there's plenty of space but hey i tell you what the americans and stuff like that this is where they would be so jealous playing this they would be so jealous playing a course like this because they, they, they have got links golf but not many and even when they do it's like 300 dollars a round to play on their links courses this is 25 quid the americans must get a little bit wound up when we can play courses like this for 25 quid and they're paying 300 dollars for whistling straights and all that right i know where my ball's at it's through the other side with the, the yellow stake So I'm going to have to uh, put the trolley up here, you'll probably not see it, I'm going to put it where the flag is actually for you, up here. Um, and it gets a little bit complicated after this, it's not so simple where the holes are, it does get a little bit of a minefield where the holes are, so I'll just put that there, I'm going to take me 58, I'm going to take all my wedges actually, 58, 56 and a 50 and to be perfectly honest I don't think it matters where the, uh, the, the flag is because I'm way over here here I am just here actually I can see me perfectly fine uh, actually I'm not as bad as I think actually I'm not too bad I'm not too bad I'm actually in a decent decent position well I'm not I'm on, I'm on an upslope and good shot here but 49 I'm gonna go 50 58 and see what happens actually and just see if I can just roughly get me feel yeah okay lower down on the shaft John and just uh, get it up there that's all you can do really that looks all right you know that's very good. That is very, very good. What's this? An old cannonball or something? Don't know what that is. That's a very good shot, actually, John. Now oh, I've got another par three after this, haven't I? That's very, very good, John. Well done. I was quite lucky in the fact that I got a decent enough light to do that. But uh, you've got to execute the shot, haven't you? You've got to execute the shot, and I did it. So well done. You've done well to uh, execute that shot. Well done. I mean, if I was in, oh, look over here. If I was in this sort of stuff, I don't think I would have been able to execute that shot. But uh, it's thick rough at the back of the green here. But luckily, I wasn't in that. Uh, I was in sort of thickish stuff, but I had a good lie on an upslope, but uh, I've done well there. I'm very happy, I'm very happy with that. Okay, I've got this for uh, for par. I've got two par threes back to back now, I do know that. <sighs> what the hell is going on up down there? It looks as if it's bloody chaos. left to right well it's all right it's a four um, I would have liked to have been a little bit uh, I've got to take the putt again actually where was it about here and we'll move that thing out the way that might have put us off a bit and we'll try again it's a little bit too off to the right again for us it's left to right of course but I think I might have just underplayed the break yeah I did I underplayed the break that, that, that was just about the perfect put by the way if the hole was there I underplayed the break that's all 
I just underplayed the brake. So now we're up on this one, on the next par three. We've got some magnificent par threes here at Hartlepool, by the way. Magnificent par threes. Uh, again, it's going to be a case where I'm going to have to leave the trolley down here and make my way up one, 175 off the yellows. Okay. Well, 175, which way is the wind going? That's going right in my face, I think. Yeah, it's gonna to have to be a, it's gonna be a hybrid, isn't it? From 175, it's right in my face. It might even be a four. So I'm gonna take my four up as well. I'm gonna take both hybrids. Right, let's get on the card. Let's get on the card. The uh, the score. Was a four to put 175. Well, I'm still doing all right. I'm through 11 plus seven. It's not, it's not great, 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 magnificent golf, but uh, for me, but it's not the worst ever, is it? It's not the worst ever. Plus seven through 11. Hey, kid, where did you learn to shoot like that? 7 11. Yeah. <laughs> Back to the future part three. Hey kid, where did you learn to shoot like that? Oh yeah, 7-Eleven. Yeah? <laughs> gas station. Of course in America they've got a little arcade machines other than the gas stations. 7-Eleven. That's a good one. Well, there's my ball, but where, where's the, uh, where's my little tea hat? Ah, there's one. You know what, I'm going for hybrid here, believe it or not. I think, I think it, uh, yeah, it's massively in my face up here, I'm going to go for. It's massively in my face. Have they finished off the green yet? It's still going to take half an hour. Yeah, I think we're moving on. I think we're moving on. Right, you're going to have to play this low. Although, no, I might go five, actually, because the pin's right. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. The, I think the pin's right at the... I'm going to go five because the pin's right at the front, by the looks of it. The height, all the all the wind's going to do is make this height more pronounced. That's all it's going to do. So nice and low, back in the stance. In fact, no, I'm going to go. Through. I'm going to sting it with a four and try and hit it low into the wind the best I can. Back in the stance, nice and low. Believe it or not, I'm going to try and sting it in. And it's rubbish. Oh, it's garbage. Off to the blood. Rough is. Oh, that's. I'm taking a provisional actually because that might be lost. I've... Bloody. It's taking too long, these kids. They're taking too long. Right, I'm going to try a provisional. This is a Strix and the other ones are uh, Callaway, so I know I know this is be provisional. Here we go, nice and low. Try and sting it again. For what? Ah, <sighs> oh, Christ. Well, at least I know where that is. It's, oh, it's right in the bunker to, in that... Well, that one is. Ah, that broke, so that was funny. When I said it's going to be a five hour round, he laughed his head off. He thought, that's, oh, that's great, that. That's good. It's good that it's going to be a five hour round. Idiot. Absolute bloody idiot. 
That was meant to be an insult, mate, not a joke. Anyway, I know when we provisional is, it's in that deep bloody bunker. I tried to be too clever, I was playing well, and I tried to be too clever, trying to sting it down there, when I know I haven't been on my best game, <clears throat> and I knew the stinger was a very hard shot under the circumstances, <clears throat> but I tried to be too clever and too cute, and I've ended up in the rough on the right hand side. Instead of playing the traditional shot, But never mind, that's a bloody good shot. Whoever hits that, whoever hit that, that's a bloody good shot, mate. Well done. Shot that mate, well done. Right, well there's the first one. That's the first one, uh, the provisional, sorry. Well, it must be. It must be. The other one is going to be. Yeah, it's the Shrixen. There's my first one there. Okay, I've got it. I've got it. I found it. We're fine. We're okay. We've got it, we've found it, we're fine. We're okay. Luckily, uh, I'm not as... F again, again, you think you're way offline. And you're not, it's just such a... Um, I'm just here, it's just such a thin green. You think you're miles away, but you're not. Right, I'm going to have to go... Oh, it's 58, because it's again down the slope. You think you're miles off, but you're not actually... I'm not as bad as I think here. It's just such a thin green. Thirty-six. All right, here we go. Hard shot, mine up the slope again. Oh. Ah, it's not, that's not a good shot from me. That's not a good shot. I, I tried to hit it back off the off the back slope and it, it's kicked off to the left and it's, it's well off the green. That's not as good as you think. I think I'm going to have to just bump and run it. I mean, that's not to be second there. particularly great but I'm even gonna I'll tell you what I'm gonna put this I'm just gonna put it so this is my third putting for par unofficially but uh, we'll give it a go That's Lynx Golf. That could be in. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, brilliant. That's Lynx Golf for you. It's Lynx Golf. Now, an apartment course, I can do that. It's a four. An apartment course, I couldn't do that. But uh, because it's links, I got away with it. Uh, is, the, is that the next tea box over there? Must be. Ah, it is.
one. I've got a feeling I'm on the wrong hole here. I've just I've just finished that hole. Am I on the right hole here? Yes. This oh, is right. Oh, I just thought you were standing there. I thought, no, what have I? No, no, no. Um, the flag is down. Well, I've been showing the juniors because there's right. There's been a competition, hasn't there? So there is. It's a yeah. Durham County competition. So this is the tee. Yeah. The fairway runs out off there one nine eight, and from there uh, two ten. So oh wow, is, right. There is a public right of way that goes yeah. down here. So you really shouldn't hit it more than 210. Alright? Yeah, so I'll be because five hybrid where then. It is, where it is here. Yeah, it's just it's it's rough, and rough, rough, and you've got to carry it. Yes. Yeah. Got so you. it is straight down, but you don't want to hit more than 210. Right, got you. From whatever team you It's probably going to be a five iron or a hybrid then. Well, if it's, if it's 210 from there. It's going to be about 190. It's 200 here. Right. I'm going to go five iron then. Yeah. Yep, got you. Five iron should be all right. Yeah, I mean, my five iron's about 190, so. What do you get it for then? I haven't got a four. I've got a, I've got a five hybrid, which goes about two, 205 ish. I don't even know where the wind's going. Depends where the wind is, well. I'll stick, stick with the five, stick with the five. Do, 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 do. The public have a, the right of way? Yeah. Know. I'm sure you wouldn't want to kill someone. No, definitely not. Definitely not. Where's my little tea? There it is. To play the shit to the Oh, there's a bit of a little 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 Have you never played this course? I've played it once in the winter, but this is like a few years ago, so it's it's very sort of vague in my yeah. memory. Uh, I do know the first part's like a traditional links flat course, and then you go over the dunes, and then there's all sort of different elevation changes, isn't there? And the there second is. part, yeah. Uh, so it's quite an interesting links course. I'm, I'm a member of it, I'm up in Newbiggin, and that's basically a flat links course. So this to me is quite quite interesting. The amateur championship is coming here. Right. Right. Um, it's going to play the second part to uh, Seaton Carew. Right, yeah. Um, they do 18 no. holes here, 18 holes at Seaton Carew. And the men, top ladies, then go head to head match play. Right, right. Not men That's against the ladies. Yeah. The way they do it is. One seed and 64, second seed yeah. and 63. So it's like, yeah, it's a ranking thing. Yeah. yeah. I see, I see, yeah. Yeah. Right, I'll leave you to it. Oh, thanks very much. Thanks for the help, anyway. A little bit right, but it should be all right. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'll see what I get there. I think, hopefully, hopefully it's not in the first cut, but it might be. We'll see. Thanks very much. I will do. Thanks.
thing did we quick enough man this the intensity you see the intensity of bloke how he was speaking and everything hey god almighty anyway i'm i'm down i'm down here he said to take an iron and everything i mean you, you see how the course management there he was just like don't take a hybrid don't do this don't do that and i was just like i'll do what i want mate <laughs> But I've took his advice and took an iron. Uh, but yeah, I've done all right. I've done all right there. I can see the ball. I'll be fine. Yeah, be five and goes 185, 190-ish. So I said to him, well, you know, but I'm not in a bad little position there. I'm not in a bad little position. Only on the bloody 13th. Got another six holes to go. Ah, well, at, le at least the green's cleared anyway. At least the green's cleared. <coughs> I think that's the green I'm working at. Bloody intensity, man. Come on, over now. One hundred and fourteen. <laughs> All oh, right, no worries. That's about. I've got my GPS 105. Uh, so I'll get my rangefinder out. It's a bit confusing, actually, for some from you. Big, if, if if you're not wary of the course, some people might go for the red flag. Yeah. 114.3. Well, that's what the rangefinder makes out. Point three, hundred and fourteen point three. It's it's that's how accurate it is. Or one hundred and fourteen point six. It doesn't really matter to me. I just say one hundred and fifteen. <laughs> well, if you can hit the meter, I'll be very impressed. <laughs> I'd be happy if I was in, within ten meters. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, I've overhit it. It's all right, it's at the back. I know where it's at. <sighs> Will do, thank you. Dee -dee -dee -dee. Right, okay. Oh god, we'll have to get right up this slope. I don't know how we're gonna get up here, but we're gonna have to. We're over. Yeah, I just slightly overhit that. Slightly overhit that. Uh, it was on the green and then it just rolled off. So yeah, I uh, I know where it's at, it's in this thick bit. It's in the thick part of the roof. Somewhere near. I just slightly overhit it. Here it is, just here. It's not far. It's not far off, actually. But uh, for a golf for a mile level, it's enough. Let me tell you, it's enough. Emotion. All I've seen, I've misinformed you. That's not the flag you're going for. Oh, okay. you know what I mean. Here we go. 
I'm just here, believe it or not. I've just, just overhit it. There we go. Simple enough, simple enough. Okay. This for par, and I think if I get, get par here, I've done all right in this one, you know. I think I've done all right considering all the peripheral garbage he was filling my head with. Uh, right. Just straight in, John, come on. Straight in the hole. Yeah, brilliant, well done. Excellent par, excellent, excellent, excellent par, well done. Put you back on track. I do, I do love Lynx golf, I do love it. It's, it's, it's the way golf should be played, you know. That's four. What a load of nonsense. It, it says here 301 and he was saying, oh, there's a 20 yards difference. No, there's not. There's 10 yards difference on the scorecard. 3 what a one, 310. When we're going now, uh, right, this is when it starts to get a little bit uh, confusing. It does start to get a bit confusing. I mean, what hole is this? Hole four, 14, I mean, that's where I'm going. This is where I'm going, hole 14. 419 stroke index one. Right, let's have a look. What tea box is this? Oh Christ. Okay, um, I'm sorry about this. It's another hole where you're not gonna particularly see me. I'll have it facing that way and slightly up. Uh, <coughs> it's gonna have to be the driver because it's a long distance, but uh, right. Um, where am I walking here? Where am I walking? I'm walking. Uh, Looks like I'm walking up this way. Walking up this way. Oh, oh Christ, it's over there. Uh, right, okay. Um, I did I did say this is when it gets a little bit confusing as to where you're going. If you go into the, the dunes, the wind's assisting, he said. So I'm going to assist in here and up. But uh, I'm... I'm Bit of a all oh, right. Okay, I see where I'm going now. Can it be near me? That can it? No, it's not. Right, this is a bit of a footy bugger. This. <laughs> it's a footy bugger of a uh, course. The, the back nine, by the way, it's not simple. It's not simple where you're going at all. Scratch golf is all I want. The slow players, mate, I'm sorry. Scratch golf is all the bloody want. The slow to me. I mean, I get to be swing there. And then, I don't know, I don't know. I, I think I do something funny with my hips when I get there. Right, I'm just going to drive. I'm just going to me driver sick of waiting sick of waiting for these if they've got something to say they can say it to be faced because I've had enough oh Christ that's a lost ball is it 
No, it's not actually. It's not actually, believe it or not. It's not a lost ball at all, right? I think I know where it's at, I can see it. I've hit it a little bit off to the left, but uh, I think that's all right, you know. I think I can see it. I'm starting to smell the sea now. Uh, it's all right, it's actually all right. It's not a short distance, over 410 yards, but I think I'm all right, even though I've badly hit that off to the left. Faded it off to the left, I think I'm all right. Uh, believe it or not. Right, um, sorry you didn't see us there, I've been all the way down there. It's a, uh, it's a funny course, this, this the back nine. Uh, right, where am I going? I'll go up this way. Oh no, that's the women's. Uh, maybe maybe the women's leads on to the, the fairway, I don't know. Does it? Oh yeah, I can, I can get out to here. Believe it or not, I can actually, I can actually see me ball where I hit it. Uh, went off to the left, but I can actually see where it went. It's not going to be an easy second shot, mind. I do know that. I do know that. I just thought, oh, it's, it's gone that ball, but it'll be in the thick rough somewhere. But it might be findable. Believe it or not. Hopefully it is, hopefully it's findable, because I, I look and I say, well actually I can see it in the flight and I can see roughly where it's gone. So, yeah. Not brilliant by me, I've got to be honest, it wasn't brilliant at all, but it's somewhere in this rough here, past the stake. I think I'm past the stake somewhere. Right, hold on. I'm pretty sure I saw it. I was like, well, initially I thought, oh, I could be lost this, but then I thought, no, I might be actually findable this. I might be wrong, you know, I might be wrong, I might be just, I might just be lost. I think I'm lost, I think I'm lost, I think I'm lost. Uh, I, I was a little bit bold in my statement, I said, oh, actually I think I'm not too bad, I think I've, I've seen it in the flight and I've seen where it's dropped, I think it's alright. A bit of a bold statement, I think, actually, when I think about it now. Especially with all these yellow plants and stuff and these yellow daffodils. It was a bit of a bold statement. Uh, I'm going to still have a look. Yeah, it was, a, it was a rather bold statement, that. Uh, well, here it is, I've got it. I've got it. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, okay, I'll put my hat down where it's at, so I know where it's at. The panic is over. I've only had one, that's great. The only issue I've got is it's not in a great line. Not in a great line at all, to be honest. In fact, I'll just put it over here for you. I'm actually uh, I'm actually not too bad. I'm not too bad. Uh, 231. So you know what? I'm just gonna take a seven iron and try and get myself down there. I mean, there's not there's not an actual lot I can do here. Wearing my glasses because the sun's out now. Nice day, to be honest. All right. Not much you can actually do with this. Mm. 
nah, there wasn't much I could do with that. It was thick rough. I mean, I've I've plonked it, I've plonked it out twenty, I've plonked it out fifteen yards. It's a wasted shot, really. But instead of uh, instead of my third, it's only my second. Bit of a wasted shot, really. <coughs> right, I'm just here. It was a bit of a wasted shot. <sighs> Need to see where the green's at. I don't have a clue where it's at. 214, I'm not sure it matters, but I know here on the right side you run out of space. Oh, bloody hell. Is that the green there? Bloody hell, okay. So it's the line is okay. There is a bit of space off to the right, but not as much as you think. I mean for this yardage it doesn't really matter. I mean I don't think I'm gonna be I'm a good enough player to produce a shot like that. But <coughs> just to the right of these to that hill there is where I want to be. hybrid here we go and that's not as bad as you think John the left hand side opens up the left hand side does actually open up for us so that's three. This could be another disaster hole after that. I mean, three shots. But uh, it might not be. I might get away with a six or something. That's that's not as bad as you think, actually, John. You're saying it's drifted a bit left. But it's all right. It's not as bad as you think. Because that's where it opens up. It opens up to the left. That's how the hole works. not as bad as you think. The question is, is where does it bounce to? Ah, it's going to be tight mine on the left side. It's not actually as much left as you think. But uh, I think you, you might be all right. I think you'll be all right. I don't think you're going to be shocking. I don't think you're going to be shocking. I don't think you're going to be particularly lost or anything, but you're going to have to keep your eye out for the ball. Right, it might be in this, oh there it is, there it is, it's alright, it's, it's fine, it's fine, it's okay, it's absolutely okay. <coughs> It's more right than I thought actually. I thought I've gone way off to the left, I haven't. Right, well I've had three. And it's just a case of a little pitch on now. And hopefully I can get a five. It would be lovely if I could get a five, but that's not, it's not uh, too hasty yet. There's some difficult holes here at Hartlepool, especially this back nine, it gets tough. Gets tough this back nine. Uh, 40 yards. It's a 56 bump. I want to know the exact yardage, the exact yardage. <laughs> that broke, I'd be impressed if you got it within <coughs> a metre. Yeah. I would faint if I was into a metre of it to that shot, but I, I, I gave it a go. I was pretty close, actually. I was closer than a metre, actually, because it was right at the back of the green, so it was almost very impressive. Here we go, 46. I've got to get it up there. And that's all right, you know. Up, 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 come round, come round, come round, that's it, use the slope, 
that's that's Lynx Golf, isn't it? I've used the back of the slope, but it's come back round, and that's very, very good from me. Very good. It's probably longer than I think. It's probably still about seven, eight foot, but that was very good. Very good indeed. Well done. Right. Uh, so I'm putting for five now. Putting for five. Where do you go from here? Are them, are them lads teeing off where I'm ne going next? It must be, it must be. Because that's, no, that's the right of way, isn't it? I can't go there. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm doing all right, you know. I'm, I'm doing all right here. If I can just get this in for a five, that, oh, I'd be delighted, but Six I'll take because I wasted a shot, didn't I? <coughs> Here we go. Well, I gave it a go. And it's a six. Give that another go, John. Where was I? Just about here? Yeah, I was about I was about up here, wasn't I? Well, It's not a bad six really, I did waste a shot. <coughs> I wasted a shot just chucking it out 20 yards. So, uh, it's all right a six, I'll take that. Six, two put, next one, 374, par four, right. Whereabouts am I going then? I must, it must be those steps there where I'm going. That's where those kids were. Scratch golfers? Nah. They don't look scratch golfers to me. They're hitting the ball left, right, and the centre, and they're not, they're not, uh, they're good golfers, don't get us wrong. They can hit the ball a long way and stuff, but they're not scratch. Can it be scratch? I've seen them hit wayward shots and all sorts. It can't be scratch. Right, uh, well that's the reds, oh there's the yellows, right, um, <coughs> this is another hole by the way, you're not going to see us, this is another hole, you're not going to see us off the tee box, I'll just put it there, uh, there's a lot of going up steps and stuff like that, so I can't take the trolley up unfortunately. Right. And this is another funny hole, what your line is. There's some strange funny hole line is, and this is another one. Uh, the bunkers is probably not where I want to be. It's probably the right side of the fairway, but it's tight because there's rough all the, all the way down the right side. It's open up on the left. But again, you don't want to go too far left. Um, <coughs> it's a footy hole, this. It's a footy hole. I knew there was a, a few footy holes here. Well, you've got to be on your on, on the guard. They're not just simple straight holes. Hit them straight down there, and you're all right. It's not like that. Right, you want to be tight and right to the right to that rough as you can and hopefully it'll come round. But you don't want to be where those bunkers are on those left hand left hand side of the fairway. You don't want to be there, that's too far left. Okay. That's 
perfect, I think. I think, I think it's perfect. I'm not certain, mind, but I think that's fine. I think it's, unless that's further to carry than you think. It might be further to carry than you think, that rough, John. I think I've hit that just about perfect. If not, I've been extremely unlucky to get in that rough. But uh, we'll see, we'll see as I go down there. That, that was a good drive by me, I thought. And I've been rather unlucky if I've ended up in the rough, but if I have, it's because due to lack of course knowledge of anything else. It's due to a lack of course knowledge, nothing else, if I'm in the rough. So I think I've done all right. Down the slope we go. Yeah, very, very interesting course this. Very interesting course. So get your 25 quid paid and get down to Hartlepool quick and get it and get it played. Because let me tell you, it's a very interesting course. Very, very interesting course. <sighs> Now, if I've just somehow got in that rough, it's only through a lack of knowledge, nothing else. Because I hit that just about where I wanted to hit it. It's where the green stake is. I try to carry where the green stake is, which is the 150 mark that I'm presuming. I says, well, if we get it somewhere near there and carry that, I'll be all right. And there's these strange bunkers as well. I hope, I hope, I hope I'm not in one of these bunkers. Oh, I've just carried the bunker. Yeah, there's the 150 stake and I've just carried over it. On the right hand side, I've done all right there with that drive. I've done okay. The wind, if it was assisting, it's now against me. So I've had a good drive there to get to, to where I am. Scratch golfers, the shelf four right, four left, every bloody shot, man. What have we got here? Range finder out, it's still on the green. It'll be taking half an hour, no doubt. One twenty two point seven. See if he makes this putt. He should, it's a simple putt. That lass has made her putt. Let's see if this lad makes his putt. Yeah, I'm watching you, son. I am watching you, son. He's missed it. Scratch golfer, he's missed his three footer. Here he is again, taking half an hour. Oh God, now this kid, here we go. How long's he taken? What did I say, 122.4? Yeah. 122.4 wins, obviously going to be in me. Yeah, it's off, off, off to the, off to the right and in me back. Going to take a nine, and uh, we'll see from there. We'll see with the nine what happens. Jesus, we're on the fifteenth. Never. Well, well, well. Uh, there we go. Here we go. Nine, nine. Hit it off to the right. I've hit it off to the bloody right. <sighs> no excuses for that, golf friends. It's just a bad shot. There's no excuses for that. Taking half an hour over each shot doesn't help, like, but no excuses. I just hit it way off to the right. <clears throat> I got myself in a brilliant position there off the, off the tee, and oh, I've just messed it up. I messed it up big time. 122. Point. 
what was it 122.8 or something i said no that's a, not, not a good shot from there from that distance although the wind is blowing over to the right and i knew it was blowing over the right my initial shot went right so there's no excuses there just a bad shot anyway my short game might get us out the muck again hopefully <coughs> nice hole this <coughs> They're all nice holes at Hartlepool. Every single one's a nice hole. All different. And uh, I'm so happy I'm playing Lynx Golf again. I'm just happy to be out playing Lynx Golf. Beautiful course, beautiful course. There's a ball just there. I better leave it in case it's somebody else's. I've d I, d I did it in one of I just thought, well, it can't be anybody's ball this far wide and I picked it up and it was, it was somebody's ball so I'm not doing that again, I'm not making the same mistake twice. Right, um, 58, range finder, we'll see what that says. Give me three yards and then we've got three big holes after this. Again, the high tariff shot. I don't, I don't like playing this too often, but yeah, somebody else shot before again. But I've got to, got to give it a go. That's fine. Again, you've, you've, you, uh, everything's going a little bit right with them shots that I play. But in terms of distance control, I can't, I can't moan. I can't complain. I mean, I'm. I'm I'm hitting some, my short game's getting us out the muck every time, and But this is Lynx Golf, this is Lynx Golf at its, its best to me. A strong breeze, 20 odd mile an hour wind. Reasonably, reasonably, reasonable weather, about 8 degrees. But uh, th this is this is Lynx golf to me. This is this is what's you know it's so unique and different compared to Parkland golf. It's it's you know the way the game should be played. To be honest, a little bit left to right down the slope. Here we go. Ah. Again, missing the right, but it did, it was left to right, so. It's a five. I've come off with a five and it's all right, but uh, where was I about here? We'll try it again. It was about sort of here-ish, wasn't it? That's a better put. That's the one, John. That's the put you should have produced. Getting a bit more left and in it goes. But no, five's all right there, five's all right. So we'll go over to the 16th now. Uh, is this it over here? I think it is, yeah. 16th, 17th, 18th to come and then it's done. But I've really, I've really enjoyed it today. And I think this is the furthest I've, I think I've played up to the 16th before, but I've never done 17 and 18. So it'll be nice, it'll be nice to finish the course off. Uh, what's that one? Oh no, we're up here, we're up here. Yeah, and then you go here, and then that's the last. Yeah, I've got you. You walk across to the 16th through the 18th to get there. Number 16, 419 yards, still a long way. Stroke index 40, stroke index 4. <clears throat> no, I've enjoyed my round today. I've enjoyed it, I've enjoyed it. I mean, I've been going through some physical stuff again, obviously, like I always do all the time. But I've, I've actually really enjoyed it. I've really enjoyed it today. Uh, I'll go over here in the rough. No, I've, I've really enjoyed it. Like I say, this is the way golf should be played. Lynx golf, it's just a shame it's not Newbiggin I've played. Love to play Newbiggin. That is my home club. It's my home club and I love it to be honest. I just wish I could get there, get up there and play it. 
that's where I belong. But uh, I feel a little bit at home here. I feel a little bit at home knowing it's Lynx Golf. And I know how to play Lynx Golf. And uh, I have, it's, it's good to see today I haven't, I haven't lost my feel of how to play those touch and feel shots around the greens. It's nice to see, I thought, well, I might be a little bit scratchy with them, with the putting off the greens and the high tariff shots over the big deep bunkers. I, I might be a little bit scratchy, but I'm, I'm not. It's just good to see. So three big holes coming up now, 16, 17, 18, and I think the 17th is a par five, if I'm right. Yeah, it's a par five. This is a par four. What am I on? What am I on? This part of the course, I'm on five, nine, 13, 17, and six is 23. 20, I'm on 28, plus be 40, I'm on 68. 68 with three to go. So it'd be five. So it's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm 11 over through 15, I think. 11 over through 15. So I'm not done too bad so far. But it's not over yet. It's not over yet. So I've got to keep working and still got to keep fighting. Still working and still fighting. Come on. It's all right, it's down the, uh, the left-hand side. It's before where those bushes and everything are. So I'm all right, I'm down the left-hand side a little bit though. Kept it nice and low. Um, should be okay, should be okay. <coughs> Not directly on the fairway, but I should be all right. I shouldn't be, um, I shouldn't be crying. I think I'm all right. And that's what I've tried to do throughout the entire round with big drives. Just keep everything as low as you possibly can, but still get distance with us, you know, just roll it down there. Use the ground rather than high bombs. And it's worked for me today, going back to my Lynx style play uh, with the Parkland, the bombs. That's what I'm starting to slice them and stuff today. I've kept them nice and low and it's been okay. It's been all right keeping them nice and low. It's worked out for us. It'll have been frustrating for those lads too. At least they're a two ball and they'll have a chat with each other, you know. The, whereas me, I'm on my own and I've got to entertain myself somehow in between shots and it's very, very difficult to do. Very, very difficult to do entertaining yourself between shots. It is possible, but it's, it's not easy, let me tell you. If I didn't have this camera on and I wasn't chatting to you and stuff, I would find it very, very difficult. <clears throat> I think that's my ball just there, actually. I think that's the ball just there. She just got into the first cut. Yeah, it is. It's just gone into the first cut. Still going to have a long shot in to this green. But I'm quite happy with how I've played actually so far. I don't think I've made many mistakes apart from that seven. And I'm entitled to one bad hole and obviously I had a six. But I'm, ent I'm entitled to a couple of bad holes. But as long as I play the next three okay, I think I'm going to be happy with myself. How I've done today, I've had a few few decent pars, I've had a couple of decent pars, I've had a hole out, I've had a birdie from a hole out from the sand. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm, I'm not too disappointed in myself actually, I'm not too disappointed today. I've achieved what I wanted to achieve so far, but it's, it's finishing it off, 204 yards. Wind assistant, yep, to the left, we'll get the rangefinder out. 
and that'll tell me roughly where the flag is. Hundred and ninety six. So I might go with the far the, 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 the hmm. The wind helping, one ninety six. Do I want to go hybrid or do I want to go it's funny how that bloke says if you you want to go four iron, I says don't have a four iron, can't hit a four iron. And he was like looking at me like you can't hit a four iron. No mate, I'm actually a, a normal golfer, you know, I'm not a scratch player. <laughs> I can't hit four irons. Uh right, uh I don't know, I think I think I might go five iron, you know, actually on this shot. Believe, believe it or not, I might go five iron because I've got a horrible feeling. The five hybrid might be too much. I mean, I've, I've been considering getting the three hybrid, you know, and replacing the four, but I just don't, I just don't know if I'd be confident if that's like me hitting the three wood. It's like a four wood, the four hybrid, you see, and I just, I don't think I've got the confidence for the three wood. It might go a little 10 yards further, but I think with the four, I get more control. I'll get more control. I mean, I've, you can adjust it to 19 degrees, but when I adjusted it to 19 degrees in the winter, it was going left, right, and center, and I wasn't getting any consistency with it. How well, lads? You, you, you've got to uh, quicken the pace up a bit here. That's it. Okay, the wind's helping me. 196 point, what was it, 196.6? And I know at the back there's thick rough where I don't want to be. So even if I am short, all this ways I'm going to have a pitch on. Whereas if I overhit it, I know there's thick rough there and I, and I just don't want to be there. It's one place I don't want to be is the thick rough. Okay. Five iron it is. All right. Nah, it's all right. It's fine. It's just down there. It's down where they are on the tee box. Oh, dearie me. I'll just take my time. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's a straight shot. That's actually a straight shot. The wind's never took it an inch. It's all right though. Like I say, worst way is there. I've got a pitch. Whereas if I went too long or went left. I'm in, I'm in that thick, thick, horrible ghost. But I'm all right there, I'm all right. I'll be okay, it's a, it's a long pitch on, but again, my short game, will it get us out the muck? I hope it does, I hope it does. But you're dealing with real, a real golfer here, you're not dealing with, well, saying that, they've been shouting four right, four left, all the way through the round. <coughs> But I'll be alright down there. I haven't got any issues down there. I'll be pitching on and uh, the three. And a possible par put hopefully. If if be short game will get us out the muck. And that's a big if. Because today so far it's been pretty good. I've got to admit my short game's been pretty good. I can't say anything bad about it. I'm not seeing the ball like. I ain't seeing the ball, but uh, it'll be down there somewhere. It was a straight shot, that was the problem. Ah, here it is, here in the rough. If it's not as far as I thought. It's going to be a tough shot, this. Okay. Forty five point nine, so forty six yards. Where's the fifty eight? 
again, my lie is not too bad. It's not too bad. I can, I can do this. I can do this. I can actually do this. 46 yards. Again, it's a high tariff shot. It's the, uh, the old... Uh, I can do it. That's good if it's if it stops. If it stops. If it stops. It didn't stop it's right at the back. Right at the back of the green, but I mean I have got to take that from there. I've got to take that from there. I cannot I cannot uh, I couldn't have done much else with that. I could not have done much else with that, to be, to be fair. It just, it, it didn't hold on the green. It wouldn't stop on the green for us at all. High tariff shot again, but it just wouldn't stop. It just kept on rolling and rolling and rolling. Like Limb Biscuit, rolling, 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 keep rolling, rolling, rolling. It just wouldn't stop. It sort of hit. It was enough where the green was, sort of just over here, but it just wouldn't stop. And I'm right at the back of the green here. I've got a lot three I've got you give me what's here how this is a three put here Jesus I'm back in Yorkshire again left to right here we go I've asked too much of that. I've asked far too much of that. Where the hell I was aiming there, I just don't know. If it was straight, it would have been all right. But uh, I've asked far too much of that. Anyway, this for five. Yeah, good pot, well done. Well done. Again, I put well on links on links greens, don't ask me why. But uh I'm happy with that pot. The greens as well got uh, a good roll on them. So you get a true, you get a true put, you get a true put on them. Anyway, that's a five. Uh, that's 16 plus 12, is it? Plus 12 or something, which isn't too bad. I've enjoyed it today, I have enjoyed it. Uh, again, obviously not, not quite on my A game, but I've, I've enjoyed it, you know, I've, I've, I've enjoyed the round. It's uh, it's an interesting course, and these are the last two holes that I've never played before. So this will be an experience for us. These last two holes. This is a par five. It's a long par five. Uh, oh God, when we're going to go here for you? Right, you, you, you're going to have to just bear with me, and you're going to have to just see me from up at this angle. I'm really sorry. Uh, I kind of I get up on there with the um, electronic trolley. You've got the bunkers to the right, bunkers to the left, and this is actually quite a tough driving hole. It's quite, quite narrow. Competitions are back there. So this is quite a narrow driving hole, actually. Got to be on your game here, but there's nothing else I can take bar on the driver because it's a par five. I want to get there, I want to get there as far as I can. 483. <sighs> Sorry, 479. 479. You have to wait for the watch to settle sometimes. 479. Uh, oh, geez, this is a tight driving hole. 
very very tight driving hole here we go that's a good drive but it might be where the bunkers are I know I know I know I've hit that really really well but it's such a a tight driving hole this the 17th and I might be in the bunkers on the right hand side but it's nice that I've hit it straight um, I think I think hitting it lower on the Lynx Golf's helped us actually and it's uh, removed the slice hitting it nice and low has removed the slice and uh, yeah, I'm hitting, I'm hitting it much, I've hit it much better today with the driver off the tee. It makes a hell of a difference when you hit a good drive off the tee and gets you in a good position. It's really, really important to have a good drive. I've, I've realised how important it is now. <clears throat> today has made a big difference. So yeah, never played the 17th. This is the first time I've played it. The heavens have always opened. This is the first time I'm going to get a... A complete round in here at Hartlepool but for 25 quid however every bugger in, in the northeast should be playing this course because it is absolutely it's a stunning links course mine stunning links course played across the dunes see you get to see the seafront you get your traditional links course halls uh, it's, 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 it's got it's got great variation honestly you've got to play it 25 quid you've got to play this You've got to play this. You've got to watch Dr. Doolittle and all. <laughs> That's not actually as bad as you think it's going to be. It's not like a magnificent film. It's not great. But at the same time, it's better than what you think it's going to be. You start watching it and you go, oh, for God's sake, talking animals. This is going to be ridiculous. But it's not as actually as bad as you think. It's not too bad. That was a good drive by me. I'm just not... I'm just not working out where my ball's at. Oh, I'm here in the bunker. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, I thought so. I thought so. I just, I just had that feeling it was in the. Uh, yeah, that's it. I just had, I just had that feeling it was in the bunker. I just had that feeling it was in the bunker. Uh, 257 still to go oh, it's, it's so tight I'll go from behind the bunker it's look I mean look, look. I don't know if the camera's doing it just as how tight the 17 hole 17 hole is how tight the driving hole is you've not exactly got much f f uh, fair way to work with here uh, I'll wait for their walk up. I might just go the direct line over those <coughs> bushes and left myself a third onto the green. I might just try and take a, a six and leave myself a, a pitch onto the green. Well, not a pitch, but you know what I mean. It's going to be 70, 80 yards yard pitch, 100 yard pitch on the green. It'll be 100 yards because the wind's in my face. That's all I can do on this hole, really. I can't, um, can't do much else. There's not much else I can do with this. And I can't even rake the bunker. Where's, where's the rake? There's no rakes for the bunkers. Have they nicked, have they nicked the rakes or something? I don't know. But there's, no, there's, there's not... You can, you can see the entire bunker, can't you? You can see that bunker, and there's a bunker behind me. There's not one, one of them got a rake in them. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, here we go. I'm going to... Oh, this is awkward. See if I can just get it out there, and... Uh, hopefully just leave myself a decent third shot into this green. Yeah, I'm out. It's a good shot. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, I would rake it if I could, but I can't. There isn't a rake. What have to do? Uh, it's 
So it doesn't matter where I'm at now, I'm in a decent position. I might even be, even if, even if I'm 150 yards away, I'm in a decent position for my third shot to get onto the green and uh, take it from there on the 17th. Yeah, I had it directly where I wanted, over those, uh, that bush thing. And it'll be, it'll be somewhere right hand side of the, hopefully somewhere on the fairway. In fact, maybe it won't be on the fairway, I'm not sure. But whatever it is, it's safe, it's safe, it's not, uh, it's not a disaster. It's not a disaster. Whatever it's at, it's not going to be a disaster. It's going to be all right. <clears throat> ah, it's not as far as you think, actually. And it isn't, it isn't the first cut. I thought that was more fairway, but the fairway runs out. But it's, it's not, it's not rough as in thick rough. So I'm going to be all right. Ah, I'm gonna, uh, yeah, the wind's in my face. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be about 140-ish to the green. Uh, I haven't hit it as well as I thought I did, but uh, it's all right. We've got a shot at the green now. The only problem is it's severe wind. Yeah. What they doing? What are the what are what are they doing? I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what they're doing. They're messing about, playing with the flag now. Looking at the flag and everything, I just don't know. Right, 133 from here. Uh, <coughs> see what the uh, rangefinder says. I don't think those trees on the right are going to affect this shot. I don't think they're going to affect the shot. Everything, everything this, the county does, this county, everything it does is teaches them how to play slow. That's one thing I do know. The kids, the ladies, the gents, they teach them all how to play slow. 115.8 to 116. They all teach them how to play slow. 116, that says 135. It cannot be because that says the, the green's 180. It cannot be. That says the green's 118. Hundred and sixteen point one, well it must be. I'm just gonna go full pitching wedge and just ho hope and say with the wind in my face. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but 116 it Right. I've took a full picture wedge to right hand side of the green and we'll, we'll just say I kind of um, it, it's gone with the wind off to the right again. As a lot of shots do here in Lynx Golf. I just gave it a full bloody pitching wedge and we'll see. I mean, 116 yards and yet it, it said 118 at the front on the watch. I don't know what to believe, to be honest. I don't know what to believe. I might be in that bunker on the right hand side, you know. Oh, Jesus, I'm well short. Uh, the rangefinder was, was wrong. The watch was right. I'm well short. And I but I tell you what, the fairway is so pristine, I might even be able to put this, believe it or not. I cannot believe how short I am there. Well, it's not that short, actually. I'm, I'm 10 yards short. It's just the wind took it all the way over to the right. I, I, I cannot... I cannot I, Maybe the rangefinder was wrong. Anyway, I'm going to put this, believe it or not, the fringe, the fairway is that good, <coughs> I can put it. 
was unofficially putting for birdie. I cannot, uh, I cannot, I cannot, uh, I cannot not. Uh, I don't know. It's a little bit short. It wasn't massively short. Maybe seven or eight yards short. It's more to the right, to be honest. Here we go then. Okay. So I've got this for par. Yeah, well done. That's a very, very, very good par. I enjoyed that 17th, first time I've played it. Uh, not a bad little par 5, that. Not a bad little par 5. Uh, but no, I've, um, I've come out there with a par, that's good. Uh, that's a 5. What was the last hole? Was the last hole a 5? Yeah, it was a five, I think, so it's a two, a two putt. Uh, that would make me... So I'm 68, that makes me 70, 73, and a five is 78. Going on to the last, which is a par four. I'm 78 going on to the last. If I par this, I think I'm plus 12. If I can manage to par this at the last, It's an 82 and a par 70, you know, and, I, and, I, and I will take that, I'll take all the way 80s. It would be brilliant if I could par it, even 83, I'll take. <coughs> it's, uh, it's been an enjoyable round, put it that way. It's been an enjoyable round. I've, been, I've, I've had the weather for it, I've had a bit of a wind, which is just what I wanted to test me, a 20, 23 mile an hour wind, just to test me. Um, no, I've really enjoyed it. I've really enjoyed it. I've really enjoyed Hartlepool. It's a question of where do I go to get to the 18th? Then? Where do I go to get to the 18th? What's this? Hole 18. Uh, okay. Whites, reds, yellows, there we go. Battery low. Alright, my battery's low. How far is it from the whites, from the yellows today? About 350 yards ish by the looks of it. Let's have a look what this says. 377. Yeah, so it's a little bit further up for me today. The very last hole. Hey, I've, I'm going to complete Hartlepool. I'm glad I'm going to finish off Hartlepool. What time is it? Half five. Well, I did tee off at two o'clock, didn't I? 5, 5.23, I teed off at 2 o'clock, 3 hours and 20 minutes, so it hasn't been that long around actually. Nah, it hasn't been that long at all. It's been a very enjoyable round. I'm going to play this more in the summer. It's been an enjoyable round, if I can play it in the summer. It's been an enjoyable round. And I haven't played too bad. I've had a birdie. I've had a couple of bad holes. I've had a seven and a six on two par fours. But apart from the fourth and that six, I haven't really done that bad, to be honest. I don't think I've done... I don't think I've done terrible. I think I've done all right, you know. I think I've done all right. Considering how bad I've been playing, and Hartlepool is not an easy links course. It's not easy at all. It's over 6,000 yards. I know, par 70. 
it's probably a little bit further than Castle Eden but uh, it's been a nice experience it's been nice to play the full 18 and it's been good to have the weather and let them get up it's been nice to have decent weather beautiful course I mean just look at it it's just it's just it's just a natural it's just a natural beautiful links course I cannot describe it any other way it's, it's just pure it's, it's how it should be played Art of pool, this is how golf should be played there's not one artificial thing on this course not one artificial thing on this course <coughs> here we go then Might be on the rough on the right hand side. I've hit that too straight. Again, it's a tight driving hole and I've, I've put it a little bit too far to the right, but it's all right. I was a bit scared, to be honest, of the out of bounds on the left. It put me off a little bit, so I said, right, I'll go right fairway, uh, right edge of the fairway, and it's just gone a little bit further right than that. But no, I, I was a bit scared. I've got to be honest, I was a little bit scared of the, uh, the out of bounds on the left all the white stakes out of bounds all the way down the left side so I was a little bit uh, dubious of that but uh, no I'm all right I'm okay I'll just be in the rough probably and I'll find the ball it's not ideal but <coughs> so I'll probably finish about half five so yeah it's not been that long around to be honest uh, it's been it's just been a nice experience playing Lynx golf again. Just being out in the air, getting the air in your lungs. Um, and you've got to get the weather for it, honestly, Hartlepool. <coughs> it's a, it's a, it's a, it's it's a tough course if you don't get the weather. Let me tell you, if the heavens open, you've had it. If there's gale force winds, you've had it. You've you've got to get the. I mean, everywhere else today has been 13, 40 mile an hour winds. Today it's Hartlepool. It's 23 on the golf course. So whatever it is, you're always going to get the worst of it. Um, but it's a wonderful, wonderful links course. I've really enjoyed it. 25 quid. I don't think Seaton Carew will be much better than this. You know. I really don't. I don't. I haven't played Seaton Carew. I've, I've, I've walked the course. At, oh, here I am, way over here. Wow, the winds really took that. I've walked the course and everything, Seaton Carew, and I just don't. I've walked through a few of the holes, and I just don't. I don't think. Well, I, I don't think there'd be a massive difference between this and Hartlepool. You know, I just, I don't. I just don't see it. I don't, I don't see what's so amazing about it. I got there next to the oil refinery and I felt as if I shouldn't be there. There was something just telling me you shouldn't be here. Well, there's my ball. And I haven't got the first clue where I'm aiming, by the way. I don't know where. Is that the flag? Right, I can sort of see the flag, it's over that bunker, isn't it? One fifty six, fifty seven. Well, it's saying it's about 161 to the middle. Slightly behind us. I'm gonna go six iron. But I've gotta make sure that green's clear before I play my shot. Why, 
Aye, clap, 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 that's it. Okay, well, they're finished. Now it's time for me to pop this on the green from 160 yards away. I can't see the flag from here, but <coughs> the line's directly over that bunker. It's directly over that bunker. Hold on, what's he doing? He's walking off, that's all right. It's directly over that bunker to the line. Oh, Jesus. That's pants, that's way over to the left. Uh, it'll be all right, it'll be a pitch on like, but it's way off to the left. A little bit embarrassing, but it might be as bad as I think. I, I think I'm looking where that bloody flag is. It can't be over there, it won't be over there. Won't be that far wide. Can it be? Well, that might be wrong. It wasn't a good shot, I do know that. Oh, here it is, just here. Yeah. Yes, it wasn't a great shot for me second. Me third is a little pitch on onto this again, quite a largest green. So yeah. Very exposed this part of the course by the way, very, very windy. get this right. If I can come off with a five, I'll be, I'll be happy. Forty nine point nine fifty yards. I'm just gonna a little bump and run it with a fifty six. What a way to finish this last hole off after playing so well. Uh, never mind, that's that's three. Well, this is a six to finish off then, if I get it in. Yeah.
Liverpool. Been a pleasure. Shame about that last hole being a double bogey, but hey, I finished it off. I finished it off. I've, I finished the course off that um, I haven't originally done. I finished the course off. So I've shot a six. Which was a two put. Mix uh, is 84, which is plus 14. Go off this way. So, yeah, finished plus 14, which isn't bad. Which isn't bad to be honest, considering the conditions. So yeah, that's uh, Hartlepool done. Go out to the car park now. Plus 14, 84. Could have been a little bit better. The birdie helped me out. Could have been a little bit better. I would have liked to have shot, say, an 82 or something. But de ooh. No, my scorecard's there. No, it's not. Oh, I've, I've lost me, yeah. Uh, Yeah, right. Oh no, I'm I'm all right. I've just dropped my scorecard, so I've just oh, I've picked it up. Running after it. Yeah, they all enjoyed it. It was a good round. Enjoyed it. Yeah. Uh, very interesting links course, that isn't it? It's very unusual. If you want to play a real good one, Seaton Carew. Really? I promise. I've heard I've 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 heard a few of my friends play it and say that uh, it's quite good. It's just it's quite a good uh, a links course. I've never actually played it, right. but I'll give it a Seaton Carew. Uh, has two years ago the second in command from Royal St George's Greenstone really? uh, came yeah. back up to God's country. His wife was born in Hartlepool, sorry, in Redcar. She wanted to come home. So the job came up at Seaton Carew and he's transformed it. And there were people playing. Um, the, what was it called, the Northern Counties Stroke Play Championship and people had come up from Kent the back end of September last year and they said last week we were playing Princes Yeah. and this course is as good as Princes. Really? So, yeah, it's worth I a goal, promise then. you, if you go and play that one you will not be disappointed. Yeah, and that give it a go. And that is 100% links. Yeah. It's magnificent. Yeah, really I'll, I'll, I'll give it a go because they, they have, um, what is it, 23 holes or something as well, don't they? They mix, mix the holes up, I've heard. It's 22. 22. And they've got four or five different courses. Over the winter, they always play the old course. Right. Uh, and then there's the Micklem course, which normally is the next one. Yeah. But the championship course is the Brabazon after the Brabazon Trophy, right, which is the Amateur Stroke Play Championship. Um, and they've held that there at, um, um, at Seaton Carew. Um, so if you were to go there, I promise you, you won't be disappointed. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll certainly give it a go. I'll have a look, have a look. Honestly. Yeah, I'll give it a go. Thanks. Thank Will do. Same to you. Damn it, I lost my scorecard. It dropped out of me, uh, me thing. I've, I've, I've lost my scorecard. But uh, hopefully all the, the, the footage is there. 
uh, well most of it um, and I'm pretty damn sure I shot an 84 um, so yeah I'm pretty damn sure I shot an 84 I'm annoyed I've lost my scorecard but never mind uh, right that's my wallet What the hell's that? Oh, I told me other scorecards. <laughs> right. <coughs> oh, I can't believe I lost my scorecard. Oh, never mind. Well, there's the Mars bar. I'll have that. And there's the keys. Yeah, I'm a little bit. Um, Angry I lost my scorecard there, but it was an 84, I know that. Yes, you can carry all the ones. I'm not paying 65 quid around. Right. So, what's he trying to say? Hartlepool isn't a true links course <laughs> I, I don't know I don't know I thought I thought that was a true links course Hartlepool but I must be sadly wrong but, uh, uh, for 65 quid I can't really try it it's out of my price range but uh, if somebody would gladly pay the fee or if it was 25 quid or 30 quid I would gladly go but I'm not paying 65 quid just because it's a true links course, I'm sorry, Newbingham's a true links course and it's 25 quid around. Hartlepool's a true links course, 25 quid around. So, uh, yeah, I shot the 84, which isn't too bad. It could have been better. I mean, I double bogey at the last. A little bit disappointed, but uh, yeah. Anyway, I played it. Played Hartlepool the full 18. Decent conditions. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, I played a lot better than what I did at Billingham and everything. My score doesn't really reflect actually how well for some of the holes I played. I had three bad holes that brought the 84 out. But apart from that, I think I did all right considering the conditions and everything and considering the course and everything. Never lost a ball. Never lost a ball either. So that's Hartlepool done. Hope you enjoyed it. This is John from John Hutton Golf Channel. Drove the ball a lot better and everything. And enjoy it. See you later. Bye for now. Bye.